What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a way where you can combine rendered images with line work and layout to create more compelling visuals from SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, and so this is a 3D warehouse model that I've downloaded. Um, I think that it's called something like Starbucks Coffee um, by Cordell. And I took the logos off because I'm not sure what the rules are about showing logos and things like that. And so a lot of the time when you create plans in SketchUp, they can look kind of flat um, or when you create plans in layout, right? So usually what we're going to do and we're going to go over here and we're going to take a section plane across our building right here. I want to make sure I get it low enough that it cuts through the interior doors over here. But usually what we're going to do is we're going to take this cut. We're going to align our view to the cut. And so one quick trick is if you want to change the direction that your views go, you can change the direction of your axes like this. And then when I go to a top down view, the top down view is going to go in a different direction. But now I'm going to toggle to parallel projection right here. And then within my style, I'm going to set this up where my section fills are white like this. And then I'll take the whole thing and I will add a scene right here. We'll call it FP and we will save and send our model to layout. And so this is a perfectly valid plan view, right? If I take this whole thing right here, we're going to do a file, send to layout like this, and we'll pick a title block. So I'll just pick the simple A4 landscape right here. But then once I've done that, I can just take this view. I can make sure it's set to a scale. So in this case, this is more of like a 16th of an inch type scale situation. But now I have a plan view of my building. And notice how the edges don't look very good. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to toggle this over into hybrid mode just to get a little bit better view. Now that may negatively affect your performance. So there may be some things you need to do with that a little bit later on. But I think for now, this is good enough. It kind of conveys what we're trying to convey. So, and we might bring our line thickness down a little bit, just using the line scale right here so that it's not ultra thick. And so this plan looks fine, right? Um, it's not really a huge deal the way that it looks, but it's very flat. And this is how SketchUp uh, plans have a tendency to look if you don't do any kind of post-processing to them. And so one of the things where this gets really powerful is I kind of recommend playing around with using a rendered plan view in order to get a little bit of extra detail in here. Remember that we can toggle our rendering rendering on either by clicking on this button or by going in, over into our environments and picking an environment. So if I pick an environment right here, I need to make sure that I toggle into rendered mode like this. And I usually like to toggle my shadows on as well. And so we're going to kind of play around with it, but I think I get the best lighting using one of these sunset items. Well, one of the things you can do is you can check the box for set sun location and you can rotate this to get the shadows going in a realistic direction. And one of the things I'll do is I'll just cheat and I'll just bring this light up like this. So I get a little bit of depth coming off of these objects, right? Like the sun was shining through windows or something like that. And so now if I was to deselect this model, notice how this image already looks a whole lot better. And one of the things I want to highlight here is if you look at like these tiles right here, if we toggle between our rendered mode and our non-rendered mode, because this has an ambient occlusion associated with it, you get like much more highlighted um, crevices in here. But then if you had any kind of reflections, they would be coming off of this countertop. But anytime you put PBR materials in here, your rendered view is going to look a whole lot better than your non-rendered view. So let's go ahead and let's go back to our floor plan view. And we'll just reset this real quick like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck use environment as sky dome and use environment for reflections because I really only want to use it for the lighting and the sun location. Well, now let's go ahead and let's add a new view right here and we'll save this as a new style and we're going to call this FP render and I'm going to do a file save. We'll go ahead and purge unused so we don't have a whole bunch of HDRIs that we're not really using in the background, but then we can go over into layout once this is done saving. 
and we can right click and we can update our model reference. So what that's going to do is that's going to go get the newest version of this plan view directly from the SketchUp model that it's linked to. Well, notice how now if I right click on this and go down to scenes and check and pick FP rendered, that's going to go to my rendered viewport. And you're going to notice as soon as this switches over, this looks substantially better. It's got a lot more depth on it than it did previously. So it just gives you a better result in general. Now, could you just add shadows? Sure. But then you wouldn't have the highlights um, in between these tiles. Now, one thing you might be noticing is inside of your layout viewport, these images don't actually look very good, right? That's okay because they're being reduced in your viewport in order to give you better performance. So instead of this trying to show you higher resolution textures or anything like that, what it's doing instead is inside of layout itself, it's showing you this really like lightweight view. However, if you do a file export, and we'll call this floor plan one, and we're just going to set our page range to page two, which is our inside page right here. And we'll go ahead and we'll leave our image compression just kind of right in the middle. And we're going to export this. Well, once it exports this, if you take a look at the file that it creates, it's actually much more detailed in here in that final file. So it's not pixelated the way that it was. Um, everything looks a lot better. So that's something to kind of be aware of. But notice how you're getting a lot more visually engaging scene and view because we're using the rendered mode and then our line work rather than um, just using a regular flat SketchUp image. And so there's other things you could do, right? You could take slices and add like line work on top of this if you wanted to do it. But I think this looks pretty good for right now. And I'd be interested to hear from you if you're playing around with using rendered images inside of layout. All right, so just kind of an idea, something that I'd love to hear if you've played around with, if you've gotten better images using um, this combination. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you do want to learn more about how to use SketchUp and layout, I will link to my course on this page where I get much more in-depth on tactics like these. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.